Welcome back, children. By now, I'm sure you enjoyed yesterday's class and you're ready to have fun again today. Not just to have fun, but to learn very important lessons. Can you still remember the lesson, yes, yesterday's lesson? We talked about Abraham, right? Abraham stands in the gap. Do you remember your memory verse? The memory verse is the two main memory verses. First Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3 and Ezekiel 22 verse 30. Can you remember? Can you recite them? God bless you. And then the memory verse for the day. I hope you can also remember. God bless you. Today is the second day of our vacation Bible school. And our theme is Gap Standards. Connected to Jesus, connecting to Jesus. Today we want to learn about another man who stood in the gap. He stood in the gap by praying to God on behalf of a people, a very, very stubborn people, a very, very hard and difficult people. God was tired of these people. And this man himself didn't find it easy with these people. They were very tough with him. They were very naughty. They were very abusive. They did all kinds of things to this man. Yet, when this man heard that, God said he would destroy them because God was angry. What did he do? He didn't say good for them. God, go ahead. Go and destroy them. Do you know what he did? He pleaded. He prayed. He begged God. Say, God, don't destroy them. Don't destroy them. Don't let them be destroyed. So he was praying. He was praying. He was standing in the gap. How many of us can do that? How many of us can beg others? Maybe beg our parents, beg our teachers, when somebody who is very stubborn is about to be punished. I'm sure many of us say, good for him. Let him get enough punishment. That's good for him. Moses didn't do that. He, he pleaded. He stood in the gap. He prayed. He prayed on behalf of the children of Israel so that the Lord will not destroy them. Be ready to learn a lot from the life of Moses as you also become a better gap stander. God bless you. See you later.
people stand in the gap, gap standers. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standers. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standers. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standers. Stand in the gap, I will stand in the gap. It's time for our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today is taken from Numbers chapter 14, verse 20. Numbers chapter 14, verse 20. And it says, The Lord said, I have forgiven them as you have asked. And this was God telling Moses that he forgave the children of Israel because Moses prayed on their behalf. Let's take the memory verse once again. We stand up and let's take it together one more time. Numbers chapter 14, verse 20. The Lord said, I have forgiven them as you have asked. Numbers chapter 14, verse 20. Can we say it one more time? Good. Numbers chapter 14 verse 20. The Lord said, I have forgiven them as you have asked. Numbers chapter 14 verse 20. So, so that we'll be able to remember, can we turn it into a, a song? Are we ready to sing the memory verse so that you will remember? Can we sing it? Lucy, let me sing it and then you sing it after answer. Numbers 14 verse 20 The Lord said I have forgiven the Lord said, I have forgiven them as you have asked. Did you get that? You didn't get it. Let, let me sing it one more time. Numbers 14 verse 20. The Lord said, I have forgiven. The Lord said, I have forgiven them as you have asked. Good. So let's sing it together now. Are you ready? Good. One, two, sing. Numbers 14 verse 20. The Lord said I have forgiven. The Lord said, I have forgiven them as you have had. Well done. Okay, that's our memory verse for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good day, friends. Once again, we continue our lesson for today and as we go into the activities of the day. And um, we remember our focus today is to talk to God on behalf of others. Knowing fully that God hears our prayers and He also answers our prayers. And today, in our activity, we are going to look at our fingers 
how our fingers can help us to pray for others. We are going to first of all look at the type of prayers to pray. Type of prayer to pray. You, you need to, your thumb is teaching us that we need to pray a prayer of love unto God to show our love for God by appreciating and adoring God. Also, our second finger teaches us to pray for forgiveness of our sins. You know, just like Moses was praying for the forgiveness of the sins of the Israelites. You know, when they started grumbling about what is coming ahead of them. You know, and number three is to help us to pray for others. Now, after grumbling about the situation at hand, Moses, went, Moses and Aaron went to a place to intercede on their behalf for God. You know, Moses did not commit any sin. Aaron did not commit any sin. But the people, because of their grumbling, you know, God was not happy with them. God was angry with them. And Moses had to do what? Intercede on their behalf. Moses had to pray to God for God to have mercy on them and forgive them. Now, number three, you need to, we need to ask God to help us as individual. You, we pray to God to help you in all situations. In your journey, you know, on this planet Earth, in your journey with God, ask God to help you. That is finger number four. And finger number five, you thank God for answers prayers. You thank God for answers prayers you know and um, who to pray for who are we supposed to pray for finger number one is teaching us to pray for those that are close to us those that are close to us somebody want to tell me who is that person that is close to you is it your daddy or your mommy your sister or your brother your cousins, your niece, you know, your nephews, are they close to you? Your friends in your class, are they very close to you? If they are close to you, you need to do what? Pray for them. That is the function of our thumb, teaching us to pray for those that are close to us. Remember, the people of Israelite, the people of Israel were very close to Moses, and Moses, because of that, interceded for them, and God answered his prayer. Now, the pointer, the pointer, our finger that we used to point, you, 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 are you the one making us in class? We used to point to others, you know, and this is the finger that is reminding us to pray for those who point us to God, who show us the way to know Christ. Who are these people we are talking about? Our pastors, our teachers, our evangelists, you know, our missionaries. We need to continue to do what? to pray for them, for God to continue to use them. And number three, our tallest finger, our tallest finger, which, which we call middle finger. Now this one is, is to pray for those that are in authority, those in government, President Mamadou Buhari, uh, all the state um, governor of all the states, all the local government chairmen, all the CEOs, of companies that God will make them to make the right decision, you know, so that all of us will enjoy and be at peace with one another. Number four, number four is the weakest finger, which is the ring finger. You know, we need to pray for those that are weak in our society, those that are sick, those that are pregnant, those that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, those that are believing God for one thing or the other. Those that are even believing God for what to eat and what to drink, we need to pray for them. The travelers, you know, we need to pray for them, that God will grant them journey mercy. So God will help us. And the smallest finger, the pinky, is to pray for ourselves. What is that thing you ask, you need from God? Is the time after praying for others, you now remember yourself to pray for yourself. Then God will be able to do what? To answer your prayer. I pray if you follow this pattern, God will help you and answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Remember what Moses did. 
he prayed for the people of Israel. God was, God was, uh, God determined to do what? Determined to, 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 to kill them all because of their grumbling. But Moses stand in gap for them. And, uh, you know, Moses stood in gap for them and he, God remember them and forgive their sins and never destroy them again. So you can also do the same. We all know what is going on in our country. It is our responsibility to pray for our country, Nigeria. And God will help us, even as we do that in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. As we continue, pay attention to the remaining part of the lesson. And God will bless us to deal in Jesus' name. Thank you. Hello, children. It's time for our hearts and crafts. Remember our lesson for today? Moses stands in the gap. All right? And remember what Auntie told you about Moses? How he stood in the gap, who he prayed for, and how he prayed for the people. All right, so for our hearts and crafts, we're going to be making our praying ends. Okay, so we're going to be talking about types of prayer and who to pray for. Okay, so we're going to be using our fingers and then tracing it out on our cardboard. So for this, we'll be needing our cardboards. We'll be needing our color pencils, a scissors, and then to make sure the way you're using your scissors, you have a older one around you to help you out. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our praying hands. Okay, so I'll get my cardboards. I'll fold it into two so that I can get it together this way. Okay. So we'll have a cardboard. This is a big cardboard and I'm folding it into two. And then I'm putting my palm right on it. Okay? So let's go ahead. So I'll trace out my palm and my cardboard. If I say money, empty, empty, or whoever that is close by to help you, throws out your palm while you put it on your cardboard. Okay? Good. So look at it now. So let's go ahead. So I'll use my scissors to cut it out. Make sure you ask for assistance. Be, be careful with your scissors if you're going to do it yourself. Cutting it out from our cardboard. You can always ask for help from mommies, aunties, whoever that is close by that can help you and do your scissors very well. Okay. Okay. While we're doing this is to remind us of those we need to pray for and the types of prayer we make. Okay. So so I'll be having these two palms drawn out. On my cardboard so you can decide to use any color of cardboards right on my table I have a yellow cardboard you can use a green one a white one whichever cardboard you can even use a piece of paper okay to do it So I'm trying to trace out, cut out the traced hand that I made on my cardboard paper now. So I'm doing this to remind us of what we are being taught today. Types of prayer. And those who pray for, who to pray for. 
Okay. Okay. So please carefully just draw it out. You have to take your time. Okay. So can decide to put them to get to pull them a bit down here as well so that it will come up, come out. Our fingers can show you know this palm is very big. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have it this way. Okay, I decide to just trace it out to make it beautiful. Okay, make sure you're careful with your pen so that you don't mess up your beautiful work while doing this. Okay, so after cutting it out, that means we'll be having our pen figures drawn out. Okay. So, okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's ten. Okay. So our ten fingers are already out this way. So remember when we're talking about our fingers we have our thumb okay we have our pointer our middle finger our ring finger and then our pinky okay so for our thumb why when we say types of prayer we're going to use the first hand for types of prayer then the second hand for who to pray for all right so for our types of prayer let's just write it here types of prayer Okay. So for our types of prayer, our pinky, okay, talks about what? I love you. So why are you telling I love you to? You're telling God what? I love you. Okay? That's making God know how much what you love God. Okay, so I have what? I love you for my pinky finger. Okay? Then for what? For the ring finger, forgive me. Okay, we're talk talking about five types of prayer. So forgive me. That's asking for forgiveness for all the naughty things I've done. Okay, for everything I've done that I'm, for the wrong I've done. God, what? Forgive me. Then our long fingers. What are we doing with it? It reminds us of what? Helping others. That's praying for others, just like we learned today. How Moses what stood in the gap. So we're talking about what helping others. So our long finger should remind us. Our middle finger should talk about talks about what helping others. Okay. So our pointer what please help me. Our pointer is what please help me. Please help me. That's us asking God for what? His help. Okay? Then we have our term what for Thanksgiving. Okay? Our term talks about what? Thanksgiving. Okay? Thank you. We're thanking God for our clothes, for our shoes. Okay? So let's go to the second hand. I'll pick another marker. Okay? Who to pray for? Now we're talking about who to pray for okay so our pinky when we're praying we pray for ourselves so we have our pinky reminds us of what praying for ourselves okay the small finger okay 
self okay the ring finger we are using it to remind us of the needy the people who are weak those who do not have around us those who are helpless okay so we are using our finger the ring finger to remind us to pray for what the needy the needy people those who are weak And then our long finger, that's the middle finger, reminds us of our leaders, okay? Those in government, the president, the governors, the senators, we pray for them. So we write with our leaders, our middle finger, okay? So our pointer, we are praying for who? Those who point us to those who, who are teaching us okay those who point us to instructions that we need to follow so we talk about teachers those who teach us in school our lesson teacher our school teacher our teacher in church our pastors those are our what? our teachers so okay we have our teachers here okay for our pointer okay so for the term who do we have the those close to us all right so who are those that are close to you mommy daddy your siblings who again your friends your grandma your parents okay so we have people that reminds us so why you have your every time you use your finger let it remind you of something okay let it remind you that our hands when we put them together it reminds us of types of prayer it reminds us of who to pray for okay so let's go ahead who to pray for okay so this is what so together we have it called what together is what praying hands good so let this remind you that this is our praying hands okay so make sure you try them out but why you why are you doing that remember your scissors be careful with it while you use them you can always put in your stickers okay to make it beautiful so these are our what praying hands our five fingers let it always remind us all right children god bless you
stand in the gap, gap standers. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standers. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standers. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standers. Stand in the 